Good morning dear children welcome back I am Mrs Sitara your social science teacher in today's session we are going to continue our learning process of class 7 term 3 unit 2 in geography map reading this is part 2 come children let us learn before going into today's session let us have a recap of what we learned in the last one dears in the last session we discussed about maps and the types of maps We learned that map is a representation of the earth as a whole or a part of earth drawn on a flat surface according to a given scale. It can show countries, continents, cities and even local area. It is very easy to handle it as it can be carried out and rolled up or folded or stored in computers. The various types of maps based on the common features are on the basis of scale it can be classified into large scale and small scale maps. cadastral map and topographical maps are large scale map and wall map and atlas are small scale maps atlases can be classified as school atlas advanced atlas regional atlas and national atlas school atlas contains map giving sufficient details of home and country advanced atlas contain details of maps of even small regions of continents and areas and they are used as reference atlases A regional atlas contain which help in regional planning national atlas contain detailed maps of a country on the basis of content the maps can be classified into physical map and cultural map physical map shows the physical features like relief geology soil drainage elements weather and vegetation it can be of regional relief maps geological maps climatic maps soil maps cultural maps contain man made features there can be political maps population map economic maps transportation map as well as thematic maps dears we learned that the science of map making is called cartography and one who draws map is a cartographer there was there are digital maps which are web based services that provide detailed information about geological regions and sites around the world In this session we will discuss about the elements of map. Dears, maps provide us with a lot of information and one must know how to read and interpret them. Every map is provided with certain features that help us to study the information presented in it. So every map will have some features. The basic essential elements of a map are title, direction, scale, legend or key and signs and symbols. so they are title direction scale legend or key sign and symbols let us learn one by one title every map has a title that describe the information given in the map so in the title itself you can find out what is the information that is given in it for example a map with the title india rivers shows rivers of india a political map or an outline map will show the give the outline of the particular place the next important thing is a direction dears in general maps are drawn with north orientation the compass is pointing towards north and the maps are drawn with north orientation it helps us to find other directions on the map like east west and south in addition to north rotation latitudes and longitudes are depicted in the margins you can find them in the margins the north is notified by the letter n with an arrow mark there is an arrow mark and a letter n now let us see what is a scale the scale of a map is a ratio between the distance on the map between two points and the actual distance between two places on the ground what is a scale it is a ratio and what are the things in the ratio it is the distance on the map between two points and the actual distance between two places on the ground for example the scales can be represented as 1 cm is equal to 10 km it means 1 cm on map is equal to 10 km on the ground and it will help us to find the distance on the map between two points now the next important thing that is legend or key legend l e g e n d legend legend or key of a map explains the symbols that are used on it 
to represent various physical and cultural features. So, what is represented, what is it, whether it is a physical feature or a cultural feature that is represented by the means of legends or key. The common signs and symbols which are internationally accepted and used in maps are called as conventional signs and symbols. Some signs and symbols are used internationally and they are accepted internationally and they are called as the conventional symbols or signs. Conventional. C-O-N-V-E-N-T-I-O-N-A-L. Conventional symbols and signs. Every map has a legend or a key which explains the different colors and symbols used in it. So legend or key explains the color pattern as well as the symbols that are used. On a map, it is difficult to show the real shape such as settlements, bridges, post offices, railway lines and forest. They are depicted by using certain colors, symbols or letters. You cannot be going on depicting the bridges and post offices and railway lines as such. So they are converted into simple, certain symbols which are accepted by all. That is called as a legend. Dear children, the map shows the India physical divisions. And you can see the white color that is snow and yellow colored area that is agriculture. Green color is completely forest. Blue is water bodies. It could be ocean or it could be sea or even a river. The brown shades are that of mountain, hill and contour. Red is for settlement and road. And black depicts the railway line. Dear children, the physical features are Color white represents snow, yellow agriculture, green forest, blue water bodies. It could be ocean, it could be sea or even rivers. And brown represents mountain, hill or contour. And red represents settlement and road. And black represents the railway line. Dear children, now let us learn about the conventional signs and symbols. A sign is widely used to symbol or a line pattern or a color on a map. What is a sign? It is a widely used symbol or a line pattern or a color on a map. It represents a feature on the ground. If it is a feature on the ground, it is represented in a map by means of a symbol or a line pattern or a color. The Survey of India or SOI have standardized a set of conventional signs and symbols. So, who is standardizing the conventions and some symbols? It is the Survey of India. And in the map, you can find the different symbols or patterns or colors which is fixed or standardized by the Survey of India. And it represents certain feature on the ground. The various conventional signs and symbols are major road, minor road, bridge, RS for railway station, railway broad gauge, Railway meter gauge, river, canal, dam, lake, wetland, mountain, volcano, grass and shrub, forest, country capital, internal administrative capital, temple, post office, PO, telegraph office, TO, PS, police station, fort. So these are the various conventional signs and symbols. By seeing them, you should identify them as maybe a post office or a police station or a fort. Now children, let us learn what are the uses of maps, why it is used. There are four major uses of map. Yes, maps enable us to know the details of the landforms. It will help us to know the details of landforms. It helps us to identify the military people identifies to the uh, campaigns, various campaigns. By using the map only they will go for the various campaigns or raids or attacks. It is used in aeroplanes as well as ships for voyage, for the transport in uh, ship or in uh, through aeroplane they use maps. Maps are used for weather forecasting. So four major uses. It will help us to know the details of landforms and it is used by military personnel in campaigns. It is used in aeroplanes as well as ships and also in weather forecasting, the forecasting of weather. Dear children, now let us compare map and globe. Let us see what is the difference between map and globe. 
uh, we will see map. A map is a two-dimensional form of earth. Map is actually a two-dimensional form. You can find only uh, the places in a flat surface. It shows small or even large area. A map can show a detailed information about an area and it is very easy to carry a map. What about a globe? A globe is a three-dimensional model of the earth. You can find the almost the same, si same uh, model or replica in a smaller size. That is a globe. It is a three-dimensional. A map is a two-dimensional uh, representation. This is a globe is a three-dimensional representation. A globe is a true model of the earth. Here map you are representing in a plain paper but globe is a model. A globe cannot show the detailed information of an area. Since it is like a model it cannot show a complete information or detailed information. And a globe is not very easy to carry around. As in the case of map it is not very easy to carry around. Now it is time to wrap up. Dear children, map is a representation of earth as a whole or a part of the earth drawn on a flat surface according to given scale. Maps are classified into two types on the basis of scale and on the basis of content. The basic ele essential elements of a map are title, direction, scale and legend or key or symbol. The cardinal direction are north, south, east and west. The scale of a map is a ratio between the distance on the map between two points. A legend or a key of a map explains the details in the map. The Survey of India SOI have standardized a set of conventional signs and symbols and they are used in the maps. Now let us go through the glossary. Map, MAP map is a representation of earth on a flat surface. Scale, S-C-A-L-E scale is a ratio between the actual distance of two points on the earth and the distance on a map. Legend, L-E-G-E-N-D legend is a representation of different geographical features by using different colors and symbols. Relief maps, R-E-L-I-E-F, relief M-A-P-S maps, relief maps are maps that shows the physical appearance of hills, mountains, ridges, valleys and slopes. Atlas, A-T-L-A-S, Atlas is collection of several maps. Cardinal direction, C-A-R-D-I-N-A-L, cardinal direction, D-I-R-E-C-T-I-O-N, direction is north, south, east and west are called as cardinal direction. Thematic map, T-H-E-M-A-T-I-C, thematic map, M-A-P map, represent the distribution of a particular feature. Graduated, G-R-A-D-U-A-T-E-D, graduated is arranged in a series. Time to wrap up our session. Before wrapping up, let us have a recap. Dear children, in this session we discussed about the elements of map. The basic essential elements of a map are title, direction, scale, legend or key and a sign and symbol. Title is every map has a title and it describes the information given in the map. Direction, mostly the maps are drawn with north orientation. Scale is a ratio between the distance on the map between two points and the actual distance between two places on the ground. Legend or key of a map explains the symbols that are used on it to represent various physical and cultural features. The Survey of India have standardized a set of conventional symbols and signs to depict certain things on the map. Dear children, that's all for today's session. In the next session, we will discuss about the evaluation part that is given, that is the book back answers. Now it's time for worksheet, worksheet number two. Roman number one, fill in the blanks. Dash in a map which explains the different colors and symbols used in it. Dash in a map explains the different colors and symbols used in it. Cadastral maps are known as dash. Cadastral maps are known as dash. Question number three. Small scale maps are helpful to us to show large areas like dash and dash. Small scale maps are helpful to us to show large areas like dash and dash. Roman number two answer the following. Question number one. What is cartography? What is cartography? 
Question number two. What are the uses of maps? What are the uses of maps? Question number three. What are cardinal directions? What are cardinal directions? That's all for today's session, my dear children. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Samchir Kalvi Guide. Thank you. Stay blessed.